uh, so as we as I said it before on part one, so uh, the first thing that we should have to do is checking the battery and the panel. So we check it, we check the rating of the charge controller and the inverter, and now we uh, proceed to uh, connect the DC source to the invert to the charge controller. So as you see it here, we have a positive and negative terminal. So for the DC also, we have a positive, which is red, and we have a negative, which is uh, black. So those things connected to the charge controller so that we can give a DC source directly to the appliances. But if we have AC sources, if we have AC sources, we should have to connect the inverter with the battery. Why? Because inverter need a direct source. That means if we give through the charge controller and if there is a variation in uh, voltage, that means charge controllers, I mean the inverter stops. So we, when we want to connect the inverter, we should have to connect it directly with the battery. That means we have a positive terminal which is connected to the positive through the breaker. That means why we need to use a fuse. If we have a fuse, we can use that one. If we have a breaker also, we can use that one. So why we need to break the positive terminal from the inverter is that because of the battery having this much current. So if this current directly goes to the inverter, this current may damage the inverter. So in order to protect that, by considering the rated power and the voltage of the inverter, we can select this uh, breaker or a fuse so that we can protect the inverter from damage. So uh, here we have an inverter which is connected directly to the battery through the breaker. So we should have to take care of that. We should have to protect the inverter from damage. So we can use that one. Or sometimes they come with the fuse so that we don't need to uh, connect those systems uh, because the fuses are already installed inside the system. So now we can, uh, if we see what are the things that we should have to check and what are the things that we have here to proceed to the connection, so now we can proceed it. So first let us connect the TV to the charge control the PV to the charge control. So uh, now I'm using the extension wire here, extension wire. So here I'm just showing you that uh, the proper way to connect the PV to the charge controller is by just splicing the wires together. But because of we are just having this for uh, other purposes, for other purposes, I just sim simply show you the simple connection. But for your system, we you should have to splice two, those two cables. This is just come with this the clipper. But when you buy from the uh, outside, it comes with a male and female uh, connector, so that you should have to connect using a proper one. But when you come to uh, here, like for example, uh, you can't get uh, th those kind of con connectors. So what you can do is you can directly uh, splice this one together can split this one together. But now I can use this one. Uh, sorry that I didn't wear a glove because it's necessary to, glove, to wear a glove for a safety. So let's say this one, we connect the, the series with the, I mean the uh, negative with the negative one and the positive with the positive one. But the, the thing that we should have to uh, take care is we should have to protect the two connections not to connect each other. So I connect the positive with the positive one and the negative with the negative one. So now I can proceed to the charge controller. So as you see it here, we have a charge controller. So on a charge controller, there is a symbol. That symbol shows us the PV. So here we have a PV. So the positive should be red and the negative should be black. So I connect the, the positive to the charge controller positive. Then I will tighten it. Uh, this is a Phillips flat. So if it is flat, you can use flat. If it is Phillips, you can use Phillips. Okay, sometimes the things damage. 
So now it's tight and then I proceed to the negative side. Then I tight the negative side. So PV is connected now. The PV is connected. Now I can proceed to the battery. As you see it here, the battery says the positive. We have a symbol on, of the battery on a charge controller. So the positive goes to the positive and the negative goes to the negative. So I will bring also a cable. So this is the cable for the battery. I just uh, prepared this one uh, to make it fast. So I have a negative goes to the negative side. And I mean the positive goes to the positive and the negative goes to the negative. But for the battery, there are uh, battery cables already uh, prepared. So I'm not going to tight it because I'm going to connect the inverter cable together. So the first thing that I do is just connect the battery and not tight it so that I can connect it directly to the positive of the inverter, I mean the charge controller. So I will start tight it. thing that should have to be careful is the wire should not be seen so the negative goes to negative so as you see it here as you see it here the positive from the battery I mean from the panel goes to the panel positive and negative and positive and negative goes to the battery as you see it here there is a visible wire so the thing that should have to do is untight it and then Cut it a bit. Cut it a bit. Then insert it again. So that it will not affect a person, a child, maybe come and so I finish the panel connection and the battery connection. Now if I have AC source, I mean if I have DC source. I can connect them directly to the charge controller so that I have a DC source here so the DC source can be connected directly to the charge controller it goes to charge controller positive and then the negative goes to the charge controller so I finish the connection for the DC source now I can proceed to connect the inverter. So I prepare the cables for the inverter. So as I said before, now I can tight it together with the charge controller output. If you touch it together, it may harm you, but if you touch it independently, it will not harm you. So that, that's why I use my hand, even if it is not safe. So I can connect the negative terminal of the battery and then I can connect also the negative terminal of the battery I mean the positive I just tight it in my hand because it's simple simple but please wear a glove tight it with my hand then I will tight it with the proper material then I have these two 
One go 